I want to give a huge shout out to my first very number one member on my YouTube channel, Gordon Shumway right here, super poor investor. I will be putting out a video dedicated just for him for members only. If you haven't done that, I mean, I discreetly put that on. And if this is something new for you, you know, there's a little membership. Once you view my any one of my videos, there's a membership thing. You can actually do that. And I get a small portion of it. It keeps me motivated. I appreciate Gordon. Thank you so much for joining the membership. Membership. what's up guys welcome back to another edition of the poor investor today you saw my thumbnail 1.3.3 like what the hell is going on chia like what what's next 1.3.4 since tomorrow is the 4th of april like every day you're releasing an update like don't you catch things before you actually release them all right that's just my little rant but i do want to go through what we're looking at and why we're doing this why is it necessary for us to update this version of the chia for windows all right uh because i am a windows user all right if you haven't noticed that i have mentioned it in a few of my old videos both my harvester right here and my farmer are running on windows now i you know that's just by choice i started with windows and i just didn't kind of come off of that i didn't want to transition anything i didn't want to spend any more time let alone i don't even want to spend any more money on it so that's why i'm on windows and for them to like kind of neglect windows in a way it kind of like what's going on like if you keep doing this people are gonna just like turn his turn his head and and just stop chia you know what i mean because how many more updates are you gonna release every Every single day to catch up on these little mistakes that you guys are making all right that's you know if you guys are watching you know chia team whatever you can say whatever you want about me but anyway this is the 1.3.3 update it has come to our attention that our attempt to keep the patch of our fix on windows for open ssl cve 2022 0778 limited was too narrow and did not in fact fix the windows installer this emergency release remedies that and handles some of the other smaller edge cases now i'm not sure what the other smaller edge cases are but in version 1.32 our patch of the open ssl vulnerability was not complete for the windows installer i don't even know what that even means what, what do you mean by not complete i mean it doesn't go into much details of that mac os would not update open ssl when installing via install that sh some debugging information remain in installed okay all right whatever guys right so we're, we're trying to figure out what what's going on uh 1.33 what's tomorrow i mean are we expecting another update you guys are worse than microsoft at this point that's what i'm saying so when i was actually thinking about doing this video i was trying to figure out like oh man you guys are like switching like updating versions like i change underwear but then but then i did a search on how to change underwear not on how to change underwear it's actually six to twelve months when you're supposed to recycle old underwear i know this is a little off topic but what what i was trying to get at originally when i did this search how often to change underwear was it's supposed to be daily you know like that's that was the that was the joke but uh this didn't work in my favor with the six to twelve months because obviously chia is doing it more often and then you should be changing your underwear every single day to be honest and maybe multiple times a day depending if you're working out or you perspire a lot all right that's off topic i don't need to know any of your personal situation in the comments below i'm just saying she is change updating versions as much as i'm changing underwear sometimes two times a day all right so i'm just saying i would say you need to jump on this i don't want to sound like a you know broken record every single time i'm gonna release a video oh gee release an update we gotta update it because it fixes this well yeah it, it kind of does fix it but then again, by tomorrow, it would probably release another version to fix something else. I don't know. Could be possible, you know, with that. The, the situation is really hard to determine because as people are using this version, then they'll find the limitations of it or the bugs of it. Also, my good friend at the Chia Plot has put out a blog in regards to this particular version and of course he updates his community as well i mean not his community but his following because the community is still the chia community all right so do your own due diligence update at your own risk I, I would say i mean right now they're they're releasing updates because it's supposed to help us right sometimes it may be it may cause something else to break i don't know you know following a it level headed 
you know from a perspective of software development and infrastructure and all that meaning that's sort of what i've been growing up doing you know since out of college i hate applying updates to something right away as soon as it's released it's sort of like putting microsoft patches on you know critical uh, production environment servers you just don't do it but in this case it's so weird that we just released this update you should a uh, patch it you know patch it now it's not like a zero is it a zero day is this considered a zero day i i don't know i'm not even sure myself you know we gotta bring we gotta do something about this whole chia dev team stuff you know updating versions every single it's good that they're on top of it like you know it's great but Damn, how many are you gonna release in the like day after? Has it even been 24 hours since 0.32 to 0.33? Probably not. Probably not. Like they they start they probably need to release patches opposed to releases because you found a hole or you found something you found an issue with 1.32. It should be 1.32 blah right. And then when you release a full like functioning like on purpose development of a software, it should be that next level up like 1.33 but it's getting ridiculous now i mean i, I know she is not the only one that does it and it, it feels like this every every vendor has this like release this thing by next week you know every two weeks you're like you get something new brand new so anyway that's uh my little rant today i am i don't i don't even know I, I guess I'll do it. So what the hell did 1.32 fix? Come on. Holy cow, guys. But anyway, I'm going to update it. And then I didn't even do the harvester. My harvester is still 1.31 and my farmer is on 1.32. Now I have to put both of them on 1.33 and wait for tomorrow to see if I got 1.34. I want to thank you guys for being here always. I appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and make a comment below. It could be positive. It could be negative. Whatever you want to say to me, just say it to me. All right. I'll willing to take it I, I can take it all just dish it and if i don't like it enough i'll just delete it all right thank you guys for being here and i'll see you guys again soon bye <laughs>